Hello and welcome. Today I'm talking about the D-beam on the FA-06. The D-beam sends out an infrared signal that bounces off of your hand to a receiver. So it sort of measures the distance between uh, the keyboard surface and where your hand is. So you raise your hand up and down above the keyboard in order to change some parameter of the sound. Now wherever the D-beam is implemented, and I have it in three of my Roland products, I have it in the FA-06, the VR-09 and the uh, AX synth, you're going to find three buttons associated with it. Uh, one is for pitch, the other is for uh, assignable, you may make it whatever you want, and the other one is either expression, which is just volume, or it may be labeled cut off which is filter but in any case whether it's whether you have a solo synth or not because in in the AX the solo synth is replaced by pitch which means that the D-beam just alters the pitch of the keyboard if you wanted to do that with the FA-06 you could assign it using the assignable button so it's really no limitation at all and uh, basically whatever your implementation of the D-beam you should be able to make it work whatever you want so let's see in the case of the solo synth the Roland has a complete uh, monophonic synthesizer assigned to that button but to change the sound of it you're going to have to dig deep into the menu First we press the menu button and then as you can see here we are at the system. If not you can simply use the arrow keys to move the highlight to the system. Then you press the soft key here for select and you move the cursor across well, it's actually at the beam because that was the last thing that we accessed. Once you select the system menu option, you can go to all the various screens that control the parameters that affect the entire FA06. And uh, on the D beam setting, you see there we have the first of all the sensitivity, how sensitive it is to the movement of your hand that's about set about midway then we have the uh, control thing whether the parameters are stored with the system or stored with the studio set uh, you may want to store them with the studio set in which case you can change that system just by rotating the wheel to studio and then everything will be stored in the studio set instead of in the system. Now when we come down here to the D-beam switch we have the opportunity to set up the parameters for the solo synth as you can see uh, level and chorus and reverb and there's quite a lot of them we'll just scroll quickly down so you can see how many parameters it's a two oscillator synth and you can get syncing between the two oscillators and I guess you can keep this screen up while using the D-beam so you can make real-time settings on this solo synth it has its own LFO but as I said uh, you're sort of limited to changing these settings in real time using the menu which is a bit of a pain and um, those would be the settings for your solo synth there's no, ex there's no settings for the expression at all but when you go to the assignable you can assign that button to a whole heap of different effects 
and parameters of the sound as if you go down here and of course you have the range as well the maximum and minimum range uh, of which you want those parameters to change now if you come down here you see that it, right now it's set to CC01 control change 1 which is modulation so basically when we press that button and move our hand above the D-beam it's going to uh, have the same effect as the modulation wheel well we don't have a wheel on this but the um, lever the lever that does pitch bend in modulation that Roland has but you can change that so as whatever you want you can go through the entire uh, range of CC numbers so that um, you can assign a CC number to it or if you go past all the CC numbers then you can assign it to specific keys and functions so now what it does is you have attack, decay, release, uh, pan basically level it handles all the it automates through the D-beam all the functions associated with the six knobs on top of your keyboard so you can reroute a function from the knob to the D-beam if you want you can even set it so that moving your hand over the uh, D-beam is triggers a pad uh, a pad so instead of pressing your pad you can trigger the pad sound uh, using the sample pad there you can see it's set to sample pad 1 and uh, so there's a lot of opportunity there to customize now if you choose a CC number that's not uh, assigned you can customize the tone to use that CC number using the modulation matrix in your in your um, menus for that particular tone when the solo synth is activated uh, you don't even have to play the keyboard at all the D-beam just controls the pitch of the solo synth by the place you put your hand as you see So that's that, I guess you could pretty much use that for effects, maybe if you customize it a little better and maybe with some practice you could set it over a, a musical range, that's not set for anything musical right now. The expression now uh, is just basically the volume of the keyboard, so if we have it here on a jazz organ. Right now it, uh, in the default it's going softer. The closer I put my hand to the sensors, softer it goes. And uh, if I decide to do the um, assignable, which as I said is currently set to CC01, which is the same as the modulation lever, uh, we'll get the same effect whether we push the modulation lever or use our hand. the little red light LED in the button flashes once the mom, your, your hand is in place and it's, it's actually sensing um, I don't know if you can do two of them at one time but let's uh, let's try this so oh no they're not they're mutually exclusive the instant I push the solo synth the assignable went off so guys you have only one you can only do one at a time so you gotta pick your poison 
If you want to set your assignable to do cut off or filter changes or something, you do that. Either or you just have it on simple expression where you just control the level. Or as I say, you can put it on solo synth and create a wild sort of uh, effect. So that's it today with the Roland uh, FA06. Um, I can demonstrate the D-Beam on the AX synth uh, or also on the... Uh, VR09 where we keep uh, the options are much more limited on the VR09 we can't change things as much but you get the idea and uh, thanks for watching the Stephen Mendes channel and uh, see you in the next video